How's it going, YouTube? You have Pat back here, bringing our Week 5 match in the Sofco Draft Association, playing as a night front coach of the Toronto Star Raptors. You can see our team up above, their team down below, both teams arranged in speed order, of course, as well as six Pokemon that we are bringing and six Pokemon that I think night front is going to bring to our match. You can see the game plan that I have there as well. I have entrainment on uh, Pyroar, which is a really cool strategy that I've been wanting to use as soon as I learned that uh, Pyroar got uh, entrainment. You can make a target's ability the same as yours. Pyroar has like terrible attack stat, but it does have Moxie. So I want to try to give uh, Moxie to one of my physical attackers, either Corviknight or Satitan. Um, so I'm hoping to pull off that strategy one of the games. I don't know if exactly which one it will be if I want to try game one or kind of feel things out and play it from there. But yeah, I kind of wanted to try it. <laughs> and then I have Tailwind on Corviknight, which I think is going to be really nice to give myself a little extra speed. And then Sheer Force, the Titan, I think is going to be really strong. I have Sheer Force and Life Orb with three moves that uh, get the bonus um, from Sheer Force uh, and Life Orb uh, with none of the drawbacks, which I think is awesome. So... Anyway, we'll see what six they decide to bring here in just a moment. All right, here we are in the first game, and it looks like um, several things that I thought were coming. No Salazzle is kind of nice, and no Grafia as well. Looks like instead we have Spiritomb. And uh, what's the other mod we have here? Arbeliva as well. Okay. Yeah, Arbeliva is definitely a threat. Um, just because it looks like he has a Trick Room option as well. There is the Titar Galit. Okay, so everything else that we thought was going to be here is here. All right, um, hmm. I kind of like starting, so one of the planned leads that I had was Grimmsnarl plus Jolteon, um, which I think can still work here as well. It kind of feels like it's gonna be a Trick Room game plan potentially. Um, and I think for that reason, I'd like to have, so I think Corviknight in general is, is solid. Um, the Electross is a little bit of a problem, but I think we mostly just need to chip that one down and then we'll be okay. But I think this is probably the way to go. Um, we'll use Pyroar a little bit later uh, if we find a chance to. It's kind of a, it's a very um, off the wall strategy. So I don't actually know if it's gonna be very good. Um, but I think that these uh, four can do pretty well. So we'll go and lock these in and see where we go from here. Yeah, good luck, have fun over to my opponent. Uh, Night Front should be a good one. They also stream on Twitch, by the way. Um, if you happen to be in the SCDA server, you can always check out, I think it's the, um, they, they have a content creation channel of some kind. So you can always check those out. There's several people that stream over there actually. Okay, so this very much feels like um, Trick Room is coming, um, which is fine. Uh, I think here I'm fine to just Volt Switch. Um, I could also charm the T-Tar, actually. How do I feel about that? Hmm. I don't hate that idea, actually. I could totally charm the T-Tar, and I'd be fine with that. And then here, um... I think a Spirit Break is just fine. Going into either one of these Pokemon is going to be good. Um, I think I'll just go after the Spirit Tomb, though. And then we'll go from there. Yeah. And I think this is probably fine. We just get some damage output and we reduce some damage. Yeah, we get some damage and we do some damage. I think, th all in all, I think this is pretty good. Yeah, this very much feels like Trick Room and Rock Slide, yeah. So we take a significantly reduced damage from that and Trick Room, yeah. Uh, I think my play here is just to, um, Hmm. I kind of feel like Volt Switching. Um, there is a case to be made for uh, swapping the Jolteon. Actually, swapping the Jolteon is probably better. Yeah, let, let's just swap Jolteon. I feel like I'm going to want it afterwards to deal with Gyarados. And then um, I don't mind just going for another attack into the Spear Tomb. Um, I'm a little concerned about a weakness policy from T-Tar. I don't really want to trigger that unless I have to. Um, but we've got Charm off on it. Yeah, that's, that's just fine with me. So what do they have? What is that? Electross. Okay, that's that's totally fine. Um, that probably means I need to swap Corviknight back out again. Um, 
Is that a bad thing? I mean, I could protect, actually. I could totally protect. will -Lewis don't really care about that. Like, this is this mod is not get here to deal a ton of damage. It's just here to get chip damage on stuff. But we get to see three other mods now, which is pretty good. Yeah, obviously they take a lot less damage from that. Um, I think I'm fine to just kind of hit the Electros here. Um, and Protect Corb I think is fine as well. <laughs> I could also parting shot the Electros. Is that an idea worth considering? I don't think it's necessary. I think I can just protect here. And um, how many turns do we have left for Trick Room? We have three turns left. Trick Room and Sand. Um, parting shot on that also does sound kind of nice because I could go into like Jolteon, I guess. I just don't think that there's an attack coming at that spot. Um, we do see will o Actually, I, I want to take care of this one so I can get the will o um, Damage from this is kind of good, actually. Um, question is, it, do I want to do that now or do I want to try to delay this a little bit? Let's go and hit this. Let's let, reduce the special attack uh, stat from this. And we can figure out what we want to do next. Another will -O Okay, this time I'm going Corbinite. That's fine. Yeah. I think this is okay. And Flamethrower is the move. Okay. Yeah, this is all all looking good so far. Um, we do get to see it special, so this Spirit Break will be pretty nice. Um, I don't have too much to the death on Corbinite, so I'm probably not planning on sticking around with it too much here. Um, but I will look to try to get some more chip damage uh, on his team. And do I want to parting shot that slot? It's certainly an idea. But I feel like I'm dealing with Trick Room fairly well at the moment. Um, I think my play is going to be... I think I swap into Jolteon. And I parting shot this. And this preserves Fake Out for a turn. Yeah, let's do that. So Jolteon switching in here feels pretty obvious, but uh, I don't care about a will o going there. Um, if it takes some damage, it takes some damage, is what it is. But I think here I might swap this into... What do I want to swap this into? Do I want to reveal that I have Satitan? You know, I could go... I can go Corp. I can go Corp again. There's not a lot of pressure on the um, Electros right now, though, which I'm not a huge fan of. But is what it is. Let's see what they go for here. Flamethrower looks like the same spot. Okay, so minus two. Shouldn't deal too much damage. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, yeah, just getting some chip damage on some of these mons. Where are we at on um, Trick Room turns, by the way? So far, I've seen Leftovers, Trick Room, and will o only from the Spear Tomb. So I don't really know what move it's carrying. This is the last turn of Trick Room. Okay, I think... I think here is where I swap into Grimmsnarl. And... Um, I think I'm fine to Protect again, actually. Yeah, I think, I think Protect again is fine. But I can save the Jolteon for later, I think is worthwhile. Um, it's likely that... Um, it's likely that attacks are coming out here. I don't feel like there's a... There's another will as Wow. That's wild. I really would have assumed that it wouldn't be a will o at this point. Yeah, Flintthrower is fine. This will probably proc my berry. So I'll get to heal back up here. I can go for a fake out on the... Hmm... Is that how I want to do this? This is a minus two. How much damage do I take from this? Probably not very much, right? Like from a minus two, um, 
Electros, I'm probably not taking too much damage. So I feel like I can get a uh, Trick Room set up here. Um, I, I get Tailwind set up, I think would be worthwhile. Um, I could also fake out or I could KO the Trick Room setter. I'm trying to think of what's my best option here. Faking out is kind of nice, um, but hitting with the Spear Break is also kind of nice too. And I could do that. Plus, I could also Tailwind or Brave Bird. Actually, Brave Birding this is probably a good call. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that's fine. I think I hit that with the Spirit Break, so that's probably pretty good. And do we see the last Mon? I don't remember that name before. Okay, cool. Oh, hitting this with the Spirit Break is solid. And they do have Protect. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and that's fine. Um... Yeah, so Spirit Break is going to do a good amount of damage to this, even though I'm burned. Hmm. Oh. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, they're Covert Cloak, right? I think that means they're Covert Cloak. Uh, how do I want to play this? Uh, I think my play is... I think I want to T-Wave this, actually, because I want to pick up the KO here. Or do I set up for another turn. Let me think about this. I could parting shot that. Um, I think T-Wave is fine. I think t is fine. And uh, I think Brave Bird is here is fine too. Because this kind of needs to pick up the KO here. Yeah, let's do that. They might swap actually. Or Terra. Okay, that makes sense too. I wonder what their Terra type is. Terra Steel. Okay. In that case, my best option for beating this is. Ooh. Actually, not. I don't have a good option beating this. <laughs> um, it's gonna. Be, it's just honestly, it's gonna be a chip it down. Maybe Charm. Uh, because I have, uh, most of my damage don't deal too much to steel types. So, we'll see. We'll see what they end up doing here. And they Sacred Sword. Okay, so that's gonna pick up KO there. I think that's okay, because now I get a free swap. And, uh, do they Willis or do they Trick Room? They Willis. Oh, we dodge it. Wow, that's huge. Okay. So, Grimmsnarl's down. Uh, I think this means that the play is, um... I think the play is the Titan here. And uh, how do I want to play this turn? Do I tear? I don't think I Terra Fairy. Uh, actually, I do think I Terra Fairy. I think I Terra Fairy and I Liquidation this. Uh, and I think I need to pick up the Brave Bird KO here. I think that's got to be how I play this turn. I really need this KO because I don't want either one of my Pokemon burned. And I should be faster than a Paralyzed Gallade. Um, so I think I'm doing okay there. Uh, if I pick up the KO, then I'm also looking pretty good to... Um, yeah, then I'm also looking fairly good for speed control. Um, so I think that could also work. But if I pick up the KO on Gallade, then... Yeah, I'm in a really good spot, I think. Liquidation's got a ton of this, yeah. And then I think, like, I'm very offensive Corviknight this week. Um, it's not my normal. I'm usually more of a defensive one, so they may not have uh, considered this as a potential option. But this Brave Bird should do a ton of damage, yeah. Okay. Uh, and we're looking pretty good at the moment. So we'll see what they, um, see what they bring. Well, I guess I know what they're bringing in, right? definitely know what they're bringing in. Is it worthwhile to get Tailwind set up? No, I'm faster than both these ones anyway. So Sandstorm's gonna come up here. There's gonna, gonna be some chip damage. Um, I think my play here is... Uh, it's gonna be play rough for sure, I think. So I think I play rough. Um, what am I most scared of, actually? I think I'm most scared of the T-Tar. So I think I go here and I Tailwind just to make sure that I have speed control. 
Do I even need that though? I could just double. I can. Okay, hold up. Let me let me kind of mix up here. Let's um, let's play rough this slot and Iron Head this slot. Let's do that. This should deal a lot of damage to the Electros. Yeah, that that picks up the KO for sure. Okay, cool. And then um, we should be able to deal a good, good amount of damage to the Titar. I'm kind of wondering what item they are. I think even... Oh, we got a flinch. Okay. Well, obviously that makes things a lot easier for us. Um, and at this point, I can just play rough again. Uh, actually, I don't need to miss, right? I've already shown liquidation. Let's just hit it with liquidation. And Iron Head should pick up the KO here as well. Okay, yeah, bam, battle's canceled. Okay. Okay, so coming into game two, I was kind of debating it with myself if I wanted to try out um, uh, Pyroar. Um, and I don't think I'm going to... Um, knowing that the, uh, knowing that the T-Tar is not weakness policy, I feel a lot better about just being able to hit it now, um, which I think is good. Um, question is, do I want to bring Sir Boars here to start? Um, actually, how good is this Mon? It still deals a good amount of damage, right? And it forces Terras on things, or it picks up KOs, right? Like, it hits three Pokemon for super effective damage, does quite a bit to the other two. So I actually could consider leading this. Like, and I have fake out pressure if I want to, um, if I want to play around any differently. I could have spike, which I think is still good. I think narwhal is still the way to go. Do I not bring the entrainment strat? But I really want to. <laughs> it sounds so cool. Um, Lino actually sounds pretty good here too. Um, the downside is that there's two Pokemon that are incredibly scary for it. Three actually. But I was thinking about the burns and stuff, um, and being able to fight against that would be kind of nice. Um, I just don't think it's worth it. I think it's much better for me to bring something that can deal with the Gyarados should they decide to bring that. Yeah, I think this is probably still the way to go. So let's let's go with this game plan. Uh, it's essentially the same as game one. I'm just switching up my lead here. Um, but I think that's fine. I should still be able to put a good amount of damage output on... Um, Pretty much anything they lead with, actually. Or I force Terras, which, again, are pretty good. Alir and Erika. Okay, so they decide to switch things up. Um, I think my play here is... Hmm. What is my play here? What's my... Yeah, I'm Terra. Uh, do I force their Terra immediately? I could. I could also just Brave Bird this Mon and stop Trick Room from going up, and that could also be kind of nice. Is my Terra here dark? Yeah. Um, Parting Shot on the... Actually, I could just... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Let's go here. Let's do this. I think they Terra right here. I'm going to try to look to pick up the KO on um, the other Mon, and then... Oh, I probably needed to... Ooh, I probably needed to... Uh, oh, I think this might be a mistake. Because I think I needed to use... Um, pardon, oh my god. Oh, they got me so bad right here. Okay. Yeah, this is super bad. I do see I'm faster than Gallade, though. That's kind of good to know. And am I faster than Gallade on... Yeah, I'm faster than Gallade there, too. Do they Trick Room? Unless they trick room, then that would show me they do trick room that slot. Oh, interesting. Um, in that case, we can um, we can protect here. I think is the way to go. And then uh, is it the covert cloak, or is it the one that stops, or is it like clear amulet? Is it clear amulet? The other one. I don't know how this part works. Um, I want a parting shot on this, but I don't know if it works. This might be a chance to find out, right? Or I could just hit this slot. I'm, I'm, gonna, hit, I'm gonna hit this slot. I really don't know if this is the right play or not. I feel like there's a will list coming somewhere. That makes sense. 
Which makes me think they probably targeted Corvine with the other one, with the other move, right? Okay, yeah, so Glade is actually faster. They just had the, um, the, um, Trick Room, so that's why they were slower. And Sacred Sword. Okay. Um... Sacred Sword would do a lot of damage to me. Um, but I think that my best play here... I wish I'd actually attacked it with just Brave Bird last turn. Because now I think they have a really easy play. Yeah, I think they just have a super easy play. I think I need to KO this, uh, this Mon, though. The, uh, um... Yeah. It, it's, it's pretty annoying. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna try to parting shot this because I don't actually know how the new items work. But if I can drop their um, their stats here, okay, I can. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, who do I go into? I could go to Titan, I guess. Could also go Spike. Um. I'm gonna go to the Titan. It's a little scary here, um, but I think they're just gonna attack the Corviknight. Like, I think it's probably like will -Wisp and um, Sacred Sword to going into that slot. But I'm gonna try to just deal as much damage to this uh, Spirit Tomb as I can. And then we'll play from there, I think is how we're gonna do this. Eh, yeah, really not much damage. will -Wisp is pretty rough. Oh, they Sacred Sword of that. Oh, yikes. Okay, that's not what I wanted to see at all. Um, I think I'm gonna go back into Grimmsnarl, though. Go back into Grimmsnarl on that slot. And then, um, how are we looking on turns here? I think we should have, uh, um, two turns left? Two turns left, yeah. Okay, so I think here my play is to, um, to again attack. And I think here I want to swap again. I want to go back into Grimmsnarl. This gives me potential to fake out next turn. Oh, that's nice, actually. Who's that? That is... Oh, that's fine. That's totally fine, actually. Um, and then I think... Yeah, their team is super slow. I don't think I need Tailwind at all. Dang, I really wish I had, like, another move on the... Um, uh, on the Corviknight. But if I can really get this um, this spear tomb gone, then I feel in a much better spot. I, I almost feel like I just need to keep attacking it, which is kind of rough, but it's what it is. Um, they could protect this next turn, actually. Does that make any sense for them to do that? It could. I think my play is still to break for it, and I'm just going to use fake out this time on the um, the electros. They've used their Terra as well now, um, but my Terra is not going to be amazing, actually. I probably... yeah, that's fine, I guess. I think my play is... Um, I feel like my play is still to try to take out this Spirit Team if I can. Um... Is it? Hold on, let me think about this. I feel like the way I win this is with Jolteon, actually, at this point, and I probably need to use my Terra on it. Um, if they have Titar as their last one, then I'm not in a great spot, um, because I don't have as much damage output into it. Um, but getting Trick Room set up again would not be great for me. I think my play is still to go after this, though, and... Uh, I actually think it might be worthwhile to just take out this Mon. Yeah, I think that's worthwhile. Oh, that's fine. What are you going into, though? Okay, so two resisted hits. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Um, Corviknight doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot for me anymore. I kind of just need to sack it, honestly. And this might be a case to be made for why Sloking would be good. Yeah, this might be a case for why Slow King would be good this match. Flamethrower probably takes me out. Yeah. 
Um, but I think that means I can get into Jolteon. Or do I get into Narwhal? I'm not sure. Do I go Narwhal and then... Hmm. I think it is Spike. I feel like I'm in a pretty bad spot here, though. I, I don't. Ha I don't feel like I have a very good chance of winning this one. But I think my play is probably charm this if I can. Hmm. Yeah, because I don't think I KO. I could tear this, right? I could tear this. Um. And that way, like, if a Sacred Sword is coming out here, then I'm taking less. Um, I think my play... I'm just going to attack this, I think. And then I think we go Spirit Break on this slot. Let's, do, let's reduce the special attacking stat here. But I think it's probably better for me to use this as my option. If I can stop Trick Room from going up, I feel in a better spot. I just don't think I'm going to be able to. I, I don't think I deal enough. Because um, Galate has a lot of special defense. <laughs> like a crazy amount, so I don't think that I'm going to pick up the KO right here. Um, I think I'll deal quite a bit of damage, but yeah, it would it would two-shot here. Um, and if they decide to just attack me, then I'm in a fairly good spot. Uh, and I can potentially... Yeah, flamethrower. Yeah, we take that okay. Okay. And they do use Trick Room again. Okay. Hmm... All right, I may need to sacrifice a Titan. I could see that being the play. Uh, and then I think... Do I go Thunderbolt on this? I don't have Protect, so it's not a great spot. I think I just go Thunderbolt here. And I think I have Parting Shot. The Gallade is probably doing the most amount of damage. Um, yeah, because I think... This is minus one. This is not reduced at all. So I think I have to parting shot this slot. I probably lose the Titan on the turn. If I don't, I could protect. Um, okay, this is fine. I'm pretty sure this is okay. Yeah, that, that seems all right. So we'll get a parting shot there. I can attack the... I, I think I live any hit with um, Jolteon. If they attacked my Grim Snarl, then I definitely don't take a hit. Because um, the Titan will go. Well, Sight Titan is just going to go down to this hit. But this might be the way to go. Um, oh, wow. Okay, just just barely live. Um, can we pick up the KO on Gallade? That gives them a swap. What do they go into? If it's Titar, then my Jolteon's essentially dead. That's... no, that's not Titar. Hmm. So we've got Trick Room for a couple more turns. And... man, this is rough. I think I go... do I still have my berry? I do still have my berry. Okay, so I could eventually heal off this. Um, I'm going to make a play thinking that they just kind of swap or stay in here, and I think I'm just going to go for a high school crash into this slot. Uh, I think I get burned, um, but this is what it is. Um, there's a world where they... Oh, they snarl. Alright, that's fine. Oh, okay, that means there's an attack going into uh, Mysa Titan then. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I could have protected there, but I don't think... I think I'm probably in a losing position either way. I think I tried to... Had to I had to go for damage. But I do get to see the attacking move on the Spirit Tomb. So they do have Snarl as well. Dang, this thing is, like, set up to just... <laughs> Just try to tank through the game, so they're making it very, very slow. 
And I don't really have a great way to deal with it either, do I? Um, all right, I'm gonna try to T-Wave to heal this, and then I guess my best play is to Thunderbolt this. I think this works like this. Yeah, so I, I Volt Absorb heal myself up, which is kind of cool. Oh, it's so little though. Aw, I thought it would. I thought it would heal me more. I've never tried it before. So yeah, that'll that only healed me a little bit. But I actually am still alive technically, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so yeah, I feel like I was very outplayed in this match. Uh, they got some really solid protect turns, um, and I learned about protect. So the only attacking move on the spirit tomb is. Um, yeah, the only... Oh, you know what? Okay, hold up. I should lead with... Um, uh, what's the... Um, what's the move? Oh, okay. You showed me your last Pokemon. You did not have to do that. You did indeed bring Gyarados. Okay. Uh, and you're Intimidate. Wow. You did not have to give me that information. Why, why give me that info? I mean, that's so good for me. That's so good. Okay. I mean, I'm down with that. If you're just gonna give me free info like that, I'll take it. All right, uh, how am I supposed to play against this? Cause this is like, I'm gonna be real, this is rough. This Electros is super hard to deal with. And uh, the Spirit Team is also super annoying. Okay, so I, I think I wanna lead with something a little bit more offensive. Um, so I feel like a lead with, um, Grimmsnarl could be kind of nice, uh, and then I kind of like Narwhal as well as a lead, just to give me some more damage output straight up. Um, and then uh, I, I need to be able to make sure that I can play in Trick Room, because Trick Room looks like it's pretty tough this week. Um, so the question is, what do I need to bring to counteract it? And that is not easy to figure out. Um, I do think that I need to bring Jolteon though, uh, just because I think Jolteon looks fairly good against a lot of the mons that they have. Um, and we can see that we deal quite a bit of damage output uh, against their team. So what's the play? I think the play is Grimmsnarl and Satitan. And then let's bring um, this one here. And then I kind of feel like I actually want to bring Slowking. And Slowking actually could potentially be my Terramon into Psychic. Because if they don't bring... Eh, is it my Terramon into Psychic? It could be. Uh, it, it would help me with Regenerator, though. That's kind of the main reason that I'd want to bring it. Um, yeah, I think that might be the that might be the best option. So I'm dropping Corviknight, which Corviknight wasn't able to do as much as I wanted it to in that game. Um, there's quite a few that acts that it isn't quite able to deal with, and the um, the terror type from uh, Gallade is a big problem. Um, so having a fire move on Slowking will help. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, my play here I think is just get a bunch of damage output. Uh, question is, how do I want to play this though? Um, It could be actually just a straight T-Wave, this Mon. T-Wave and uh, like Liquidation. That way, in case they do end up going for an attack, then um, I'll take less damage from them. I could Protect. Protect feels like such a lame play, though. I could Terra Fairy, but that doesn't seem worthwhile either. I think I'm just going to go for a Stab Damage Crash. If they Terra... Yeah, I mean, they're going to, right? Like, that's what they've done every game. I mean, if they end up setting up Trick Room... Excuse me? What? <laughs> A Poison Terra on that mod. Okay, I'm gonna be real. No expectation that that was gonna happen at all. I am blown away. Okay. What did I even go for? I forgot. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm just so surprised. Okay. Uh, now this feels fine, I think, actually. Because I just swap into Slowking. And then, yeah, I'm just going to swap into Slowking. Okay, this is, 
Okay, this feels better for me, actually. Um, Spirit Break feels fine here, too. I think I just Spirit Break the um, Gallade. And uh, I can swap this just into Slow King. And if there's a fighting move going it right there, then like, I'm gonna be fine. Um, I could have protected, but I feel like the um, the Willowis goes into um, Grim Snarl. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm here to just click Psychic moves, actually, because you just got rid of your Dark typing. Um, and unless you have Titar, uh, yeah, unless you have Titar, you're still taking a ton. God, that still does so much damage too. Oh, I crit. Okay, well that would explain why. <laughs> yeah, Sacred Sword will deal very little. Yeah, this feels like a great situation for me, actually. Um, I am fine to Spirit Break again, I think. Uh, and I could potentially just Spirit Break plus Psychic that slot. Uh, is there a case maybe for me tearing this now? No, not at all. Um, I could actually try to take out this one now, though. And this thing has been a pain. Such a pain for me. I think that's worthwhile. Yeah. If I can just KO this, oh my god, it makes my life so much easier. Snarl's cool. Like, is what it is. I still have a ton of HP on uh, Slipking at the moment. And Snarl isn't going to matter against anyone else on my team, really. What move do they have? This? No, this one KO. Yeah. Yeah, that won't KO. That's okay, though. The Sacred Sword there. Yeah, I... Man, I really considered swapping that slot, but um, I was so concerned about a Sacred Sword coming out um, right there, and I did not want to go into either one of my remaining Pokemon, actually. It would have been very, very terrible. Um, but I think I can just do essentially the same play that I did last turn. I don't think I need to switch anything up. Um, they could potentially protect on the... Uh, the two turns trick room. Yeah, they could potentially protect on something, but um, I don't think don't think they're likely to do that. Why is he keep switching my targeting? It's so weird. Um, I think a protect could come out from Yeah, that's fine. Uh, who do you go into though? Do you have Titar? Holmes. That's not Titar. Oh, that's you. Okay. That's fine, I think. Um, now, this is might be the place where I want to tear, actually. How much do I do there? That is not much at all. Um, I don't want to play this turn. I think this is where I want to go for a Terra, though. Um, I think I go for Spirit Break here again. And I think I Terra and go Flame. I, could, I think Terra. Which one's gonna do more? Double damage Flamethrower should do more, right? Do I want to use my Terra right now? How many turns do I have left? One? I could Protect. I think I Terra. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Alright, what are you what are you doing then? That's an interesting swap. Ah, okay, we know we know the we know the six now. Okay. I mean we know the four, I guess. So there is no okay, this is pretty good, I think. Uh there's no wait, hold on, what happened here? Yeah, you're not here and you wait you are. There's no T Tar, right? Flamethrower probably isn't going to do very much. I forgot that I was at minus one from the Snarl. What? Oh, Citrus Berry? Okay, that's fine. Giga Drain. Okay, I think I need to swap out now. Uh, I think I swapped to Titan. And I... Yeah, that does no damage. I think I spear break the Arbeliva and I swap out into to Titan or 
I think I actually swapped Jolteon. Jolteon feels less important right here. Oh, wait. Oh, hold up, hold up. They didn't actually show their remaining ones. That's the same one that it was, be that it was before. Um, but yeah, I think uh, Spirit Break here I think is good. Can we swap this Mon? We just go Jolteon I think is fine. I, I think I'd rather have Jolteon in right now. Um, I feel like there's a Protect Trick Room coming. I feel like that's a pretty easy play to make. Okay, Protect there. Um, attack my Jolteon slot. Uh, at minus one, this will definitely help me take the hit. I'm a little... C oh, wait, they have to be Harvest, right? That might have been the best case scenario for me, honestly. That was... Okay, this is perfect. Because now I get to go into the Titan. Yeah, now I get to go into the Titan, so... And I could potentially KO... Yeah, I should be able to KO that Mon. And then Ice Craft will definitely KO that. Citrus Barrier isn't going to matter. Like, this is just going to get one shot from an Icicle Crash. But I pretty much had to tear in order to live that other hit. So, yeah, this seems okay. And then Thunderbolt should pick up the KO here. I think. I think it should be able to do enough. I'm a little... Oh, what would their last Mon be? They've already Terrored, so it can't be like a Terra Ground Gyarados, for example. So I hit everything for really good damage here with uh, Thunderbolt. Ah, I guess except for the Electross. But if it's Electross, then I'll outspeed with the Titan and pick up the KO. If that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yep. Okay, so they get to swap into Gallade, presumably, which could be a problem. Uh, I don't remember how much HP is on Gallade. That's Gallade, right? No. Okay. Okay. So they do. They had what I thought they had left. Wait, isn't this good for me? Because I'm just gonna craft this slot and. Uh, uh, Terra Blast, I guess? I don't know. Um, Terra Blast this, too? Yeah, this is, I don't know, this, I think this is fine. Um, if this puts him in a Fairy Rage, I'm gonna be a little sad, actually. Okay, cool, does not. Okay, this, this feels doable. Um, a flamethrower? Yeah, I should take that hit, though. Wow. Not as well as I thought I was going to, honestly. Eh, burn sucks, but is what it is. I probably sack this. Um, this turn to Gallade coming in, and then I'll come back with Regenerator, Regenerator HP. That one is super low. Do you have Protect? I don't remember if you have Protect. Uh, I'm just gonna go for an attack though. Let's just Ice Skull Crash this slot and Thunderbolt this slot. If you have Protect, I don't know, you got me. Okay, you did have Protect. I forgot, but honestly it doesn't matter in the end because I'm faster than both ones here. So uh, this would have been fine. And Crash should do a ton of damage to Electros anyway. Um, even though I'm burned. Yeah, burn is still just quite a bit. Yeah, Flame Throw is fine because I think I just get to go into Slow King here. And I think Slowking can 1v1 this Electross. Um, especially since I'm Terra Psychic. Ooh, I wish I got more HP back. I didn't realize I was so low. But I think this still works. I think, I think this is still very doable. Because I think this is just Psychic into this slot. Thunderbolt this slot. And I think between the two of my mons, I should be able to get it. Yeah, this is okay. So we pick up the KO here. And then, ooh, maybe. We'll see. I don't know how much damage I'm going to be able to do to the, um, uh, the flamethrower. That's your best way to hit me. Wow, why does it do so much? God, I really hope this does a lot. Otherwise, I'm in such a bad spot, actually. That does a lot. Cool. Uh, I'm going to protect here, uh, just to give myself a few extra attacks with uh, Jolteon. 
But I think Terror Blast is going to be enough. God, that flamethrower is so much damage. I guess I'm not a water type anymore, right? <laughs> hey, all right, there we go. So we pick it up. We pick up the 2-0 uh, victory at the end here and the 2-1 victory over the course of the set. And dang, that was a wild one. I, um, that Spear 2 was such a problem. Thankfully, them tearing into um, Poison actually made it a lot easier for me. So uh, that's one of the, like, downsides of Terra early, right? But you can also dodge a lot of stuff if you Terra early like that. So anyway, yeah, well, well played over to them. That was a wild battle, very close um, throughout the set. And I thought they played it really well. It was just, it, it was a really tough battle in Trick Room. And that Spirit Tomb was able to lock down so much of my offensive threats uh, between Snarl and will o -Wisp that it just made it really tough to try to break through. But um, yeah, we just managed to make it through. I think the adjustment to bring Slowking in the next in the last game was pivotal. If, if I didn't bring that, I think I was gone. Um, I, don't, I just don't think there was a chance of me winning that game. So uh, yeah, glad they, glad I made the adjustment. But yeah, really well played over to them. If you'd like to see some more of our content, definitely stick around, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one.